back. It's been a little bit, but we are back. Armani TV. And at some point right here, I usually cue the intro. Let's go. Uh, let's see what's on TV, man. Let's see. Shit. We just missed it. <laughs> so good. I'm gonna entertain them like this. David J. Yep, yeah. <laughs> Taylor Rebels. Yo. Let's go. I start off every morning in my business suit. Uh -huh. I heard the shit y'all talking shit was really cute. But I always do the right thing like spice. spice. You heard Taylor Rebels, now Trizzle on the mic. Let's go. I don't do labels, my suit fits right. Yep. Before I leave the store, I leave the tailor with some hype. Yep, yep. Contrast, collar, shirt, collar in your white. Black and white diamonds, but it's color in my life. All right. So, there has been a haul on the low. I have been very busy. Um, but today we're gonna get straight into it and <clears throat> I've actually made some notes just to keep myself organized during this video because we all know I can be very verbose uh, Today we're gonna talk about two pickups from this week That's right. Dior Sauvage and the classic Unforgivable by Sean John So these two fragrances were picked up amongst two others that I actually got I'll give you guys a sneak peek and a review on this coming soon Toy Boy by Moschino, the Eau de Parfum. As well, we're gonna take it back with a classic, Mambo for Men by Liz Claiborne. Um, so there's a few others. The table is very full here. I got this new little tripod set up. Um, so we're gonna talk about Sauvage and Unforgivable. Let's go with the oldest first, right? This did drop in. 2006, we all know my man P. Diddy. All right, so this is a 2006 release. This actually has four perfumers behind it. Um, I didn't go through literally dropping down all the names, but if you know the Unforgivable, it's a very, very uh, classic. It's a, it's described as a fresh aromatic scent. Um, so we got top notes of birch leaf, bergamot, basil, and middle notes the heart notes this has some iris this has some clary sage in it this has some lavender and in the base it rounds off with some amber there's rum in this rum <laughs> um as smooth as this scent is yes there's rum in this and then not just regular sandalwood they took it all the way to the aussie we went down under and we got some australian sandalwood so a very very cool scent great longevity this does last long six to eight hour fragrance easily i'm um, a classic scent i remember when i first got this and again if you, you guys follow me you know my age i'm 34 so i remember when i was in high school this came out and i bought it it was a banger then which is why i tell people i've always been into smelling good and again this is sg everyone should smell good yeah i know what this is about either way this was always um, a very, very good smell of scent. One of those things that, you know, if it wasn't discontinued, go back and get it. All right, so great longevity, six to eight hour fragrance easily. Very good projection. It's smooth, sweet, but great projection. You definitely smell it. You'll get whiffs of, you, whiffs of yourself all day long um, before it becomes like a skin scent after about six, six to eight hours, I would say. Versatility, it can be worn day or nighttime. Um, it could be a signature scent. With a guy like myself, you could make this a signature scent. Although it um, it has been compared to Creed, uh, Millicene Imperial. I haven't smelt that yet, but this was something that you know I smelt first. And I think that it actually came out before Creed, Millicene. Either way, something like this, you could make a signature scent, but it gives off like a special vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm going somewhere uh, maybe a date night fragrance, definitely something to lure, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They, they get that whole relationship popping. Um, but overall rating eight out of 10, easy eight out of 10. All right. So we're going to box this. I got the 2.5 right here. This is the eau de toilette. All right, let's get rid of this. Um, so here it's got life without passion is unforgivable by Sean John. So that's what you got on the inside here pretty decent presentation I like the box nothing too you know nothing crazy special hardwood or anything like that and oh I actually did get the old bottle so this is a little disappointing but nonetheless again the 2.5 eau de toilette I was hoping to get that black sort of brick bottle which I thought that that came yeah I know it comes in the 2.5 I was thinking that that's only how they sold the 2.5 
Um, so this is the bottle that I remember from back in the day, as I said. I was saying black greenish, but it's more of a like black clearish. And then the juice, it has sort of like a lavender tint. You know, the lighting is kind of, it's sunny out right now, it's daytime, but the lighting, I don't have any lights on like that. But nonetheless, not, um, overall, I'm not, you know, it's not a deal breaker. It's still, let's see if it, it, it has that old Sean John unforgivable. Day I am wearing Nissan Voyage, their Creed Aventus clone. And I put that on, um, it's about, yeah, it's about 1.30 now in the afternoon. So I put that on about three hours ago. So it's still lingering on the hand, but I don't have, actually it's there too. That Nissan Voyage is awesome. Okay, so we cut, we dry here. So we gonna get us a spray, Sean John Unforgivable. You got your little unforgivable here on the top. Batch coat and all that, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but yeah, it's like scribed in there. Nonetheless, let's give it a spray. Let's see the, let's see the itemizer first. Nice. The itemizer, I remember. You get a nice amount of juice. Yep, there it is. It's kind of soapy, fresh on the opening. Definitely, like the lavender stands out more than anything else. And if I'm not mistaken, that's a heart note in this. And I'm, you know, the dry down on this is what's amazing. Cause you know, it, it does go into different levels. But what I'm going to pay attention to all day for the rest of the day, at least while this is up here, this will be up here pretty much for the rest of the day, six to eight hours. So you figure going into the evening time around 8 p.m is when this should be like a skin scent. Overall, it's a great, great, great fragrance. Um, definitely popping right now, summertime. This is going to be a banger. I thought that the timing was perfect as to when I picked it up, but you guys know I started my fragrance journey about um, four months ago. So with me, I'm just going back and buying a lot of the old bangers or things that I found, you know, to be bangers um, from my time frame of collecting. And this was definitely one that I had to pick up. Versatile, can be worn at any time, daytime, evening. Um, and again, could be a signature scent. For a person like me, I could make this something that I wear every single day. You know what I'm saying? Others may get tired of it, but it's like soapy, fresh, but has like that smooth, a certain smooth gentleman um, finesse to it, to wear. It's not just that, you know, sporty, fresh, you know, average sort of smell and fragrance. It is unforgettable. <laughs> and I'm sure that the ladies would agree. But that's going to be it on Unforgettable. Let's get into this Dior Sauvage. Again, I got the one ounce. This was a Macy's pickup. So y'all already know with this Ramy and Macy's, we ain't even going to talk about it. I already know what this smells like. It's great. I just wanted to have it because I do have a bunch of other fragrances that are clones of Savage, like this Shirley Made Deluxe Voyage that I picked up for only $8 inside of TJ Maxx. So we got your typical curves. They always seem to have Dolce Gabbana the one. I haven't picked that up yet, but I'm on my way. I just don't want to spend $50 for that small bottle. Go find it. It is a freaking perfect. The fact is that nobody's reviewed this yet, and I haven't done a full review, but I have done a video on it. My thing is, I'm gonna do my reviews a little different. I'm like finding my niche and my style, but you guys rock with me. You, I'm sure that you'll be uh, very pleased with the content that's uh, to come. But nonetheless, it's there. Voyage, literally, if you look it up, it comes up as their impression of Dior Sauvage. So a lot of, it's, it's one of those hidden gems. A lot of people don't know about it. And that's where you're gonna find the difference on Armani TV in this segment called SG. Everyone should smell good. I'm going to show you gems that are not all over the internet. We hear about Club de, Club de Nuit, the uh, infamous Creed Aventus clone. Um, we hear about other Savage clones. I'm not even gonna go there right now. We are gonna focus on Voyage because nobody focuses on Voyage. This was something I had to find and I sprayed it, I get home and then I'm like, wait a minute, why is this reminding me of something? Because I had already had this before and went through a bottle already. This fragrance introduced in 
15 by Francois DeMarkey. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, it is a aromatic fougere. You guys know what this smells like. It, I mean, it, it is a banger, which is why literally just for the sake of my channel and just to get the review out the way, a full review, I only bought a one ounce. And this one ounce is still lasts me at least a year because again, you have so many other fragrances. I don't, I, I don't wanna mess this up and turn this, but I'm looking at at least maybe 40 to 40 fragrances here just that are literally right here in front of me and I still have a whole nother bag in the back and this is just what I brought with me to North Carolina so and still collecting as you guys know but uh there's so many others that I have like it the whole point is it'll still take me a year to go through this whole entire bottle because it's not a scent that I wear every day even though we're gonna jump straight into that. Is it something that you could wear every day? Is the Safad something that a gentleman could make their everyday fragrance? Absolutely. This could be an everyday scent. Um, with me, I would probably get tired of it because it is a bit strong and peppery. And I think that um, in hotter weathers and hotter seasons, like you know, spring going into the hot, hot months of the summer, especially down here in the south, that pepper. This this has just layers of pepper. Uh, top notes uh, uh pepper blended with what is this uh calibran and then you have pink pepper in the heart with a chewing pepper <laughs> it's like pepper 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 pig <laughs> geranium um elemy i've never heard of that uh, that uh note but i am gonna look that up patchouli my son loves the patchouli god bless that patchouli and then vetiver so that's in the heart and then the base the ambroxan of course warm cedar and then that labdomen so you know it it does come off you know a little strong to some and which is why i was saying it probably isn't something i would make my everyday fragrance but it is definitely an easy reach shout out to my man cap nice uh, he has the dior sauvage and literally i i see him he goes to you know he's making a quick store run he'll take the bottle one spray and then he's out me i definitely overspray so i'm like he gets away with one spray i guess he's trying to salvage his bottles he doesn't He's not heavy on collecting like I am. I'm like, use the fragrance, you know what I'm saying? You have it to use it, but I get it. This is one of those fragrances that you really don't have to overspray. And although we are heavy on the sprays, heavy on the sprays, Dior Sauvage, as the name suggests, it's a savage. You don't really need to be heavy on the sprays. But anyway, back into it. Uh, longevity, easy, six to eight hour fragrance. This is the Eau de Toilette. You have the Eau de Parfum. Um, which probably lasts about eight to 10 hours, even though, depending on your skin type, this could definitely last eight to 10 hours on you. Um, with me, I get about six to eight hours before I reapply, because we know I'm heavy on the spray. <laughs> but um, great fragrance overall. So inside of your package in here, we know what this is. I'm just going through it. You know what I'm saying? You got your basic information here. Again, this was a Macy's pickup. So this is the one ounce 30 mil. All right, so we got the Baby Savage bottle here. All right. You still got your magnetic cap. All right. Eau de Toilette. CD. CD on the inside as well. No, it has the little, the bug. Can you see that? Hold up. But it's like a fly or something like that. There it is. And let's give this a spray. Do it right here on the top. See the itemizer here beautiful this itemizer is pressurized i'm trying to think of another fragrance that i have up here that has that and that is what makes the dior sauvage just a great pickup overall it smells great the bottle's cool you got the little magnetic feature here sexy it's it's you know it's pretty much like that throw i definitely keep this in the car you know what i'm saying it projects awesome this comes off very very awesome very clean at first and to be honest with you i take that back you could really do this every day easily you know what i'm saying some may you know get tired of smelling it but again if it's you doing it every day who cares what they you know what i'm saying but yeah the projection is great on this it is superb versatile easily can be a signature scent very very easy again where would you like we know what this is about sg this is about everyone smelling good this is about um, fragrances being affordable for everyone you don't always have to jump out the window and buy the huge hulk bottles you know what i'm saying get enough to last you know get enough to last especially when 
You got so many in the stash. You know, just get enough to last. Now nah, we're not gonna start going through these. <laughs> but uh, great fragrance rating for this one, 10 out of 10. Easy 10 out of 10. We know this is a top 10 on everyone's list. And I'm not gonna sit here and try to be so outside of the norm. It is a great fragrance. Projection, um, it's uh, strong. It's definitely gonna last. And it's versatile. So again, if Dior Sauvage is something that you can't afford, right now go and find voyage all right and this is a 3.4 so you'll get a lot more bang for your buck you know what i'm saying and again the projection on this great has a decent sprayer and on opening and dry down this is it opening and dry down a lot of stuff you may you know get as clones they may only smell like it upon the dry down but voyage upon spraying this opening and dry down you get this there are a lot more coming soon look for diesel only the brave versace mano fresh salvatore actually we could just show you what the hey it's my video we will be reviewing this soon 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 as well as Toy Boy, as I showed you guys earlier, and Mambo. So that is gonna wrap this one up, guys. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We are growing. We are looking to be at a thousand subscribers, Lord willing, by the end of this year. Make it happen, universe. You guys make it happen. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell next to it, and hit all so that you get all the notifications because I post at random you but usually on a daily basis but with this fragrance hunt i'm out on the hunt and i'm out trying to constantly find new gems so that'll be the gap in between and then i'm editing my own videos you know iMovie and all that so it is a process but again with your guy you guys' help the content is going to get greater and greater and that's all we got sg everyone should smell good dior sauvage unforgivable by sean john two great pickups i am very very pleased and I appreciate you guys. Stay tuned. Armani TV. Peace. I bring clarity to things you couldn't understand. Now that you understand, uh, it's back to the plan. Let's I go. said I start up every morning in my business suit. My business suit. I heard the shit you're talking shit was really cute. <laughs> but I always do the right thing like Spike. Spike. You heard Teller Rebels, now Trizzle on the mic. Let's uh -huh. go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.